Hello everyone and welcome again to another video review. This time I have here a Lewis Hamilton model and it is the race specific model from the 2015 USA Grand Prix at Austin, Texas. It's made by Minichamps in diecast scale 118. Minichamps made a few versions of the Hamilton W06 Mercedes. There's an Australian Grand Prix version here, a Japanese Grand Prix one and uh, two USA Grand Prix versions, one with intermediate tires and then this one I have here. And impressively, all of the models had extra tire markings on it, by the way. 2015 was the second year of the Mercedes dominance. Hamilton and his teammate Rosberg won 16 of the 19 races, with uh, only Sebastian Vettel in his debut season for Ferrari managing to score some wins. I did a review of Vettel's 2015 contender on this channel, by the way, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link down below or leave a clickable link at the end of this video. As opposed to these days, Hamilton had quite a fight on his hand with his teammates, although Lewis was the better of the two, Rosberg was never too far off and by playing psychological games he could sometimes get under Hamilton's skin. The relationship between the two deteriorated massively during the 2014 season and 2015 was their lowest point. When Hamilton won the 2015 USA Grand Prix and with that the Drivers' Championship, their capgate incident in the cooldown room before the podium ceremony set it all. Hamilton threw the number 2 cap to Rosberg but for the German to throw it back instantly. Nico was of course terribly disappointed and off whilst leading cost him a chance at victory and gave his teammate a free pass towards the win and the title. He would eventually win the title himself in 2016 and promptly retired after doing so. He still is to this day the only one to beat Lewis Hamilton since 2014. Hamilton since then has stepped up his game even more so, becoming the most successful driver of all time, statistically at least. Let's first take a look at the uh, half scale helmet I have here and let's put them all aside for a sec. So uh, it's a Bell HP7 model made by Bell themselves. Lewis always used the uh, Array helmets before but switched to the uh, Bell brand during the 2015 season. And um, to be fair, I'm actually not too much of a fan of Lewis's uh, new style white helmets. I much prefer this uh, older yellow design helmet uh, like he used at McLaren. A bit reminiscent of Senna, which it was based on, of course. And uh, this new design he started using since 2013, uh, although it was uh, still yellow then. But um, yeah, it's a bit too busy for my liking. The model helmet itself is actually pretty good, I think. I prefer the bell helmet shape over the array, so that's good. Um, oh yeah, just a little tear off that fell off. It's something that... Um, most helmet manufacturers use as a protective layer to indicate which visor they're using on that helmet. So, but yeah, I'll put it aside for a sec. So, um, as usual, I did some upgrades to it on the visor uh, with the tinting, and then the visor screws have been changed to Bell branded visor screws in cherry red. I added the tear of intention posts, and then the little FIA hologram and the little visor stopper, and on the front, I added the chin spoiler too. Then on these little chin strap buttons, you have these little crowns on them, just um, like the two stars on the spoiler there, referring to the two championships Hamilton had won in 08 and 14. And then um, the hands rings have also been upgraded to these more red realistic ones. The design itself of the helmet, as I said, is not really my cup of tea. I think it's a bit too busy, uh, in my opinion, already with the sponsorship and the black monster logo as well. Um, but yeah, on the top then you have the uh, Lewis Hamilton V logo, V shaped logo and his chosen number 44 and on the back you have the ham and the still I rise quote um, from the poem of Maya Angelou of which he also has a tattoo. On the inside then you have the bell logos and the white lining. So yeah, a pretty nice uh, little replica helmet and uh, of course looks uh, great in combination with the model car. Let's uh, also quickly have a look at the box too. Nothing too special there actually, but uh, just a mini champs window box. It does have some uh, uh, AMG Mercedes Petronas branding on it. And on the sides you have a little picture of uh, Lewis on the car as you can see. So let's put that aside. So Lewis on the car is a signature and then all of the info of the model itself and then uh, again on the bottom as usual you have all the legal stuff but uh, let's now have a look at the model itself 
and of course the uh, focal point of the model is the driver figurine and the way it is uh, set on the bulkhead of the car and it's uh, actually a pretty nice figurine I think Mini Champs did a quite a good job on it it looks ni nicely proportioned and um, the pose is uh, quite realistic the only thing I'm not really uh, sure of is the color of the uh, driver's overalls uh, to me it looks a bit too cream colored and uh, if you see the color contrast with the shoes and gloves is nice but um, yeah the, the suit was not exactly white but yeah should be a bit more white than this I guess the figurine is then removable as you can see it has this little peg on the bottom of the left shoe to uh, well sit in place on the on the model itself I think the decals on the figurine are quite good the hands and gloves are okay looking um, yeah maybe a bit too much like boxing gloves but still I think the detail is quite good the shoes as well they look nice with the Puma branding and the Louis uh, V logo then the hands device is uh, also nicely replicated and it's not too bad especially if you see it from the back I did um, add a little string let's say the little string connecting it to uh, to the helmet as it was not on the figurine as standard which was a bit of a shame but yeah easy fix the helmet itself then yeah I think it's a bit of a letdown uh, which is a bit of a shame since uh, it's such a prominent part of this model uh, first of all I think the um, the shape of the helmet is not entirely correct it's a generic shape which was uh, based on the array helmets I think whilst uh, Lewis uh, well switched to the bell helmet branding as I said at the time Minichamps did go to the trouble of adding the little red visor screws on the visor though as you can see here on the half scale but yeah the rest is wrong so it looks a bit weird and then the back of the helmet is all wrong the hem part as you can see here on the back should be actually red So here you have it on the half scale, so it should be red, and then underneath the still rise, the bottom part should be in one piece and shouldn't be black, but white or gray at least, with a bell logo in it. So um, yeah, it's a bit of a missed opportunity, a bit of a fail, and uh, it's a shame really because they had something uh, unique here with that uh, crouching figurine. But yeah, I mean the helmet kind of ruins it for me. Um, let's have a look then at the model car itself and uh, overall I think it looks right there are some nice uh, little details here and there and uh, it looks nicely proportioned as well I think at first glance it's a good model car um, as you can see I did add some raised dirt all over the car as it clearly uh, depicts the car after the race in Parc Fermé so I added that uh, raised dirt and I also added some tire pickup on the well tires of course as you can see yeah just to make it look more realistic the front wing then of the car uh, has these uh, cascades they're not cut out which is a bit of a shame but yeah un understandable there's uh, no detailed slot gap separators on it either because it's a die cast car uh, the extra wings there the winglets look quite detailed as do the end plates on the outside and the uh, inside as well even it has a little flap on it then the black cascades there they're actually very good with that rounded shape in it looks really nice the central part of the front wing has this uh, little ballast piece in it which is a decal I think but uh, it's a nice touch the nose is uh, nicely shaped and those uh, camera mountings are quite special on the nose. The suspension then is uh, nicely modeled in plastic with carbon fiber texturing on it. And uh, I really like that little metal color detail on it. The brake ducts then look uh, quite good and uh, they're quite detailed as well. Underneath the nose then you have these uh, typical turning vanes they're not cut out on this model 
and there's a uh, this little batwing behind it which is pretty cool which uh, directs airflow to the tea tray which has some detailing on it as well the thing I really like are these quick release bolts yellow here uh, nice piece of simple detailing the aerials and, and antennas then don't look too bad could be a little more detailed but still are okay looking the wheels then had these extra markings on it so I didn't have to do them myself I did add uh, the missing barcode decal and the extra writing and that little dot there showing where the tire valve is located on the wheel one piece of detail I almost forgot to mention that's why I quickly uh, inserted in here is the way the lower wishbones are shaped of the front suspension as you can see they are very very thick the arms of the wishbones and uh, the opening is very small as opposed to the ones on top where the opening is big and the arms are small and it's a very interesting configuration that Minichamps luckily picked up and uh, beautifully reproduced the barge board area is uh, quite simple to nowadays standards just a little barge board here with uh, simple arrow arrangements on the on the side pod I do like this little wings there on the side of the cockpit and then uh, that little wing there behind the rear view mirror it's really nicely done then the floor is also quite simple it ha does have some detailing in it like these uh, little dents here and then there's a carbon texturing in the plastic at the back this part there should have been cut out but it's not unfortunately and then you have this little tire sensor uh, detailing in it which is nice the cockpit then is not too bad um, if you look inside the seat belts are unfortunately plastic molded into the seat and colored blue with the alien sponsoring on it for extra realism it should have been hanging out of the cockpit I think so that's a bit of a miss in my opinion and one piece of detail I really like is the track map sticker there on the side of the cockpit inside and the uh, FIA scrutineering logo in the cockpit the steering wheel then is quite okay it has some decals on it but uh, nothing too special there the air intake then is nicely shaped and you have the T cam on it and on the side that other camera they're just plastic bits nothing too special the side pod is nicely sculpted as well and uh, the engine cover I really like how the black fades to the grey there on the engine cover looks really nice the rear wheels are not too bad either again with these uh, logos and all the uh, extra markings then this carbon fiber detailing is really nice as well and the rear suspension has uh, carbon fiber texturing on it doesn't look too bad either the rear wing then the uh, end plates they don't have real cutouts as you can see just black lines to make it look like there's cutouts there's no reverse gills on the inside of the end plates as well the main plane then consists of two separate pieces which is a good thing it looks nice and i really like this little uh, indent in the top part of the uh, the top flap the drs mechanism is then mounted on the bottom plane the exhaust end of the car sticks out underneath the drs stem and doesn't look too bad then you have these uh, little wings on the crash structure and the uh, monkey seat and as you can see mine is a bit wonky so um, yeah it's on there a bit crooked the diffuser then quite simple carbon fiber texturing in it and these little vertical stakes but that's basically it nothing too detailed there so in conclusion I think Minichamps did a good job on this model car I think they found a good balance in uh, detailing it in a cost-effective manner the figurine is a nice touch uh, too although I think the helmet is uh, a bit of a letdown as I said um, but yeah for me I'm happy to have it in the collection although I'm not really a Hamilton fan but it's a great addition of uh, the best driver of his generation and arguably the best driver ever so I hope you enjoyed watching this review. Thank you for supporting the channel by subscribing to it. And be sure to check out the other videos too. And I hope to see you soon in the next one.